Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my live stream from over here in Santa Ponza. Well, technically, we're over here in Costa de la Calma, where we're going to start today. Now, let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see me. I've got a cat behind me. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, welcome to my live stream from over here in Santa Ponza. Um, I've had to race to get here, I've been at the christening all day and I've just actually come over from Campastia. I had wanted to do my live stream from over there but it's blowing a gale. It's also blowing a gale over here as well so I've not gone down to start over in Costa de la Calma because it's just too windy. So I'm just around the back of the square here and um, I can just see actually they've just changed my YouTube app around. Let me just uh, turn the camera around. I'll show you who's joined me today for the stream. Look, I've been joined by one of the local cats. Good afternoon. If you could hear that me meowing uh, behind me. Oh, look, he's starting off again. I wonder if he's going to join us for the whole stream. Anyway, you can see where I am. I'm at the top of where um, we've got Kelly's cocktail bar is. Kelly's pub, sorry. We've got Carnes. We've got Run Rummers just a bit further down the road. There's an Argentinian restaurant as well down in Costa de la Calma, which I've seen is open today. I can see a few people hopping onto the stream. Good afternoon, Stuart. Hello, Neil. How are you doing? And very quickly as well, before I start, I just want to say a huge thank you to James and a huge thank you to Tommy as well. I can see a super chat was waiting for me as that came in too. So anyway, let's turn this camera around. Let's head on in the direction of Santa Ponza and I'll tell you what it is like today. Now, I have to say, the last few times I've come down to Santa Ponza to live stream, the weather has not been amazing. And thank goodness it's just starting to clear today. We've got sunshine um, over the rest of the island, it seems, apart from down here. And I remember when I was live streaming down here in... Uh, back in I think it's October and then also in July as well we had a cloudy day so I'm hoping we're going to see a lot of sunshine by the time we get down to the beach fingers crossed for that but look it's very very quiet up here you may have seen my recorded video made over in Santa Ponza um, I went down the side of the beach down the other side of Santa Ponza I didn't get a chance to come up here but you can see most of the restaurants and the bars and stuff up this side of town are closed at the moment but let's also see what's open as well because there's bound to be some bits and bobs open we're going to take a quick peek in the square as well just while, while we're around this side too but I know I always come down towards the square and I shoot off down to Costa de la Calma but if you are new here don't forget this whole string of pubs that we have right down the side here you just see Kelly's in the distance and that runs right the way down to Costa de la Calma too now while we're up this side of town let's go, just going to have a quick look into the square. The square is a hive of activity during the summer months as you may well know. I'm not sure if there's anything open there today but we're going to go and have a quick look. You can see they've got the boards up from last summer actually, that the entertainment boards. Get a lot of tribute bands playing, um, obviously not now unfortunately but look that's just to give you an idea of some of the tributes that you have playing and some of the musicians that you have playing here over the summer. So they normally put a um, a stage up in the centre. I'm just going through the chat. Neil, you're watching in Belfast today. Brilliant. June, good afternoon. And you can't decide which part of Mallorca to visit this time, um, well, in the beginning of May. Any of it will be lovely at the beginning of May, I'd say. It's a great time of year to visit, actually. It's bef before it gets too busy. Um, before it gets too hot as well. Just have a quick look. Oh, look how quiet it is. Oh my goodness. But look, they haven't actually got rid of the stage here. It has, it's still been built. They've just stacked all the chairs up, ready to be put out in the summer. And I think I can see a pub open at the end. I think it's the um, Angel or the Ankel. But everything else is quiet. Yeah, that there are some people in the end, in that bar right at the very end there. So we've got one pub open down here in the square, which is actually quite nice to see. And Keith, thank you so much for your super chat as well. Very much appreciated, Keith. Lovely to have you here. Guys, I just made it this afternoon. Honestly, I've had a really, really uh, 
busy busy day today and I've had such a lovely day as well I've, I've basically managed to do the one thing I haven't done in Mallorca um, for very a long time and that's go to a christening as well my friend had a had a baby at the end of, well in last September and she has a christening today and we've just been for the meal to probably one of the best restaurants I've ever been to on the island and it's over in Campastia and I'm actually going to go and make a video over there of it so I'm not going to tell you where it is just yet because I want to make that video the food was incredible and that is something coming from me seriously it's it was amazing absolutely amazing so um i'll definitely happily be going back there again stephen good afternoon how are you faith hello to you too jensen hello and kevin you're you're watching from a very sunny but cold canterbury today now we're just coming out of the square here if you head on in this direction here you've got the thb hotel to my right you've got the nice coastal walk as well down towards santa ponza to my right as well but we're going to head down through the center of the resort i'll be keen to see what's open because i know over in the uk and in ireland we've got the start of the half term holidays this week so i'm guessing we're going to have a few people coming out out here for a, for a holiday and a break so it'll be nice to see what's open Look at this, the sun is coming out, thank goodness. Shirley, good afternoon. Alex in Germany, hello. I hope the weather is tre treating you fine. I've just actually been catching up with a German friend of mine as well who came to the christening. It's one of my, my uh, former workmates actually. And she works part time in uh, in Mallorca and over near Munich as well. So it's so good to see her. So had such a fantastic afternoon. I might actually pop back after this stream actually. <laughs> David, good afternoon from Southampton. Darren, and you're back again in September later on this year. Now look, I'm very very surprised not to see anything open down this little strip here. Dave and Lindsay, thank you so much for your super chat this afternoon. Much appreciated. Oh my goodness. Nice to have you here, guys. Thank you for joining. And look, I see a business opportunity here. Look, so the El Jardin pizza place is for sale. So anyone hoping to uh, maybe start a business over here, start a little cafe or restaurant, this would be your place. David, you're watching from Southampton. CL, you're watching from, uh, from Ireland. Lovely, let me know actually if you're watching from Ireland. I always get quite a few Irish viewers on my, on my Santa Ponza live streams actually. Look, all this is closed up too. Oh, it is a ghost town. But it should get a little bit busier the further we go on because of course, well, it is a Sunday, so I'm guessing we're gonna have quite a few people out today. having some Sunday lunch. And we do have a few regular bars and restaurants that do tend to stay open as well down here year round. Now I have been recommended actually in the comments um, of my last video, someone told me to pop into the pie in the pint, which is just over here. It, it does look closed, but that is something that um, could be quite nice to try later on this summer. I do like a pie and I do like a pint. Sounds like the perfect combination. Dave, you're saying you're taking a break from studying this week. Ah, yes. I remember what you told me. I hope that's all that's going really, really well as well. Ian, good afternoon from a very cloudy Derby. Will I be going to Alcudia soon? Yes, I will be. I will be heading up to Alcudia at some point. I have to apologise actually. I think I made so many videos of Alcudia last year. I've just been trying to get around a few of the other resorts. But look, I can show you roughly what the weather has been like today. And the wind is coming flying across the bay because we've got some lovely views from over here. 
check out the sea here look look at this i don't know if, whether it's picking it up i'll see if i can uh can you zoom on these things let me see if i can pinch and zoom i don't think you can oh look at that check that out can you see the waves we may even see some surfers down on the beach in here in santa ponza who knows but my goodness it's looking uh looking pretty um it's not the calm blue seas that we've had recently down here at the moment the winds literally picked up yesterday and um it's obviously made filming pretty difficult too Des, it is a ghost town here. But look, there are still some people out um, today, which is pretty good. Ray, Ray's asking, there's got to be a beer shop open. There has to be. There must be a beer shop somewhere. I see a spa shop open, if, if that's any consolation, <laughs> just across the way. But I mean, where are all the pubs gone? Where are all the pubs um, that should be open? I know they've got some football playing today. Um, it must be being shown somewhere. James, good afternoon from a horrible dull rugby. Look, we've got our first place open here today. Look, I'm in the uh, Cantina Santa Ponza. Open all year. Look, they've got the uh, they've got the stickers on the on the on the window thingies there as well. They've got sports. They've got food all year round. There you go, that's the place, the first place to pop in for a quick pint. Look, check out that sea. Yeah, we've had such crazy weather and also um, you will have seen and actually I had a comment on my channel, I think it was, um, which I must catch up with my comments. I have to apologise as well. I'll be doing a little bit of catching up over the next couple of days on my comments. Um, please don't think I'm ignoring you. I am having a quick read, but I just haven't had time to go through and give a decent reply to each comment recently. So um, someone did actually say that... Uh, it seems that the videos show um, perfect weather all the time and this live stream actually shows that it isn't perfect all the time and had I done this on Friday as well we had a lot of rain came through on Friday night which the island needed we really did need that rain um, it's been so dry here but what has followed the rain has been quite a bit of wind as well so I've had this slightly stormy weather and it's got quite warm as well and it's very very yeah it's just very dry so i think that's the last i can see of any rain if you're coming over in the next few weeks i still can't see much more rain on the horizon unfortunately david good afternoon Barbara from a very grey Stamford in Lincolnshire and you're you're heading over in September wonderful look I'm outside the Verdemar I'm guessing this is actually open it was open this time last year I can see a, um, a door open over there it looks like a like a corridor room so I think that might well be open actually it should be Colin good afternoon you're going to be in four weeks tomorrow you're going to be in Campastia. i'll be back there to make a video not only for my amazing restaurant finds um today and it's a place i never thought um i would i would have considered going to but um i'm definitely going to be back dylan good afternoon william hello from scotland and chiara of the north you're watching from ireland wonderful look we've got another little uh, supermarket open just across the way as well it's nice to see some of these uh, little shops staying over open over the winter and of course if you're staying in the Verdemar that's an apartment block so you're going to want to be able to pop out to pick up some supplies so you've got at least a couple of supermarkets right around that um that apartment block as well Craig good afternoon you're just calling by to say hi you're heading out in a minute you're in Amsterdam. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Oh, Craig, have a fantastic time over in Amsterdam. That's amazing. I hope the weather's been kind to you over there. Wayne, good afternoon from Exeter as well. Look, 
you see, we couldn't have walked down there. I don't know whether you can see, look, but the, the water is actually, um, let me just go down, look, it's actually covering that little boardwalk in front of the Las Olas restaurants and the waves are coming up. It would have been quite interesting walking down there. We'd have got absolutely drenched, but hey. Susie, you're coming in September to the Whaler Isabella. Ah, yes, along the front. We're going to go and check that out along the way. We're going to see what the, uh, um, oh my goodness, I can see some kite surfers in the sea. I don't know whether we're going to be able to pick them out here. He's right behind the palm tree. Well, we'll head on down to the beach in a minute, look. You'll see him pop out from, he's just gone round the back of that tree there. It's very, very, very rare that we ever see kite surfers over in, in Santa Ponza. Um, so you know the wind is good down here at the moment. You know that we've got quite a strong breeze blowing if, you, if you've got the kite surfers out. soft wash guy we stayed in the h10 in santa ponza but never discovered this area yeah you have to just walk just walk in the direction of costa della calama um, there's loads more bars up here and look we're coming up to a few places that are open i can see a kebab shop across the road and we're coming up past the uh, the rising sun pub as well they've got the football on today or is it rugby i can't tell i think it might be football got football on this afternoon and that's actually looking quite busy if you are coming over here in the next few weeks it is a ghost town it is very very quiet but the few places that are open are actually quite busy great place to to meet people too jimmy oh bless you jimmy and jow bless you thank you so much for your super chat as well from over in new york city lovely to have you here i'm so glad you made it actually it's the stream's a little bit later on in the day today so hopefully we're going to have um, some of our our us friends joining us on this live stream today so thanks very much hey guys and ricky as well are you in buenos aires again today I'm gonna absolutely love it if we've got if you've got you Ricky from Argentina today, absolutely fantastic. Nancy, and you're coming over in uh, in seven weeks. You're staying over in Torinova, that in betweeny bit in between Magaluf and uh, and Palmanova. Fantastic. I must get around that area actually just to make a video because I don't actually think I've got anything on my channel from there. And so we have so many people staying in that area too. nudge nudge wink wink yes please if everyone can hit the like button i'd really appreciate it we've got well we've got over 140 people on this live stream which is amazing for quite a great day in february so thank you so much for joining and please hit that like button it'll help roll this video out to anyone else who's interested in visiting santa ponza this summer now i'm just going to do a little bit of a walk around the roundabout here you can see um Oh, we've got some major works going on around uh, Daniel's Corner. Right next to Zanzibar, look. Check this out. I'm just going to look back, actually, look. If you are visiting, we do have a place open right by the roundabout. We're just coming... Uh, now, so many good times have been had around this area. I remember last summer coming up here, it was absolutely packed. I met many subscribers around here as well so as you all know these bars around this area here right in the centre part of Santa Ponza are always really busy and they've got some super major works going on over here at um, Daniel's Corner. I don't know if it's still Daniel's Corner, if it's going to be something else, let me know if you know. I'll try and find out what's going on over here anyway. Sarah Sparkles from Skegness, good afternoon. Lovely to have you here as well, Sarah. 
Should we just have a quick look down here as well? Why not? Now, if you are new to the channel, um, please go and check out the pub tour that I did down here last September. I think I was in, in Sean's place actually watching the rugby with a friend. But look, I can see over in Tom's pub that is open. Brilliant. And in the summer as well, if you go through here, we've got Shamrocks as well. We've got Dirty Nelly's pub as well through, through here too. All these pubs along here have fantastic live music. Such a good atmosphere. It's such a different resort as well. It's just not the usual kind of uh, nightlife that you find over here in the resorts. Oh my goodness, I've got two more super chats that have just flown onto my screen here. Wayne, thank you so much, Fam de Jong, as well, over in the Netherlands. Thank you very much uh, for your super chat as well. Look, guys, so I can see in, uh, in large writing on Tom's Pub, two, two pints of Amstel for seven, seven pounds. Well, it doesn't say pints, it just says two times seven, seven euros, sorry, and Strongbow, two times. 10 as well so i'm not quite sure whether that's that's uh, pints or what but anyway let's give you an idea of of the prices let's just have a quick look down here and see if anything else is open louise good afternoon louise one of our lovely facebook group admins is in the group and she is also from the youtube channel southwest sundays and once again, has another fantastic video out. I always love watching Louise's videos while I'm having my, my breakfast on a Sunday morning. They're so chilled out and they just transport me back to the southwest of the UK, which is never a bad thing. Eleanor, good afternoon. You're going to Santa Ponza in April and you're looking forward to it. Brilliant. Ray, you're on your way here from miserable Norfolk. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I can feel the breeze behind me. I've kind of, uh, maybe I shouldn't have walked down here actually, because I think we're going to walk back into the wind. And Susie, oh, bless you. Thank you very much for your, for super chatting me. That's my very first super chat from you. Thank you, Susie. Much appreciated. Right, I'm going to come down this far. You can hear the wind behind me. Okay, so Dublin, another amazing pub down here with fantastic live music. I'm definitely going to be down here when the se season starts again. Sue, I love your message. <laughs> I'm a bit late, but better late than never. Exactly. Right, let's try and get uh, let's try and get down to, to the beach side and let me get my back to the wind again. Yeah, Dave, you're saying the sea looks very calm. Um, trust me, it's not. <laughs> not for Mallorca. But you're saying your beach up in Scotland has been washed away. And the next village has been flooded. Blimey, that sounds uh, pretty major. But yeah, it's just so quiet down here, folks. I mean, even for a Sunday, and even considering we're, we're kind of like half term, which is the first holiday that we'll come up to for the year, it's very, very quiet down this part of, t part of the island. But don't forget as well, I've got St. Patrick's Day coming up and it seems that everything opens um, at least pretty much Daniel's Corner and Zanzibar. That opens, a few other places, a few other bars and stuff open, maybe a few down here just for St. Patrick's Day. Then they all close again until the, um, at least April so, or at least Easter. Try and get a better idea of what's going on around here too. Well, the Daniel's Corner signage is still up on the side, at least. Maybe they are just having like a massive refurbishment here. Look, and all down the side that they've re-concreted, all the way down where these bars are here, too. Tilly from Toronto. Welcome today. Thank you so much for watching. Delighted to have you here as well. 
I can't wait actually. Do you know what? It does feel a tiny bit like spring is on its way over here. I know we've had the lovely uh, winter sunshine and the very sunny days, but the evenings are starting to feel a bit lighter. You can feel spring is in, very much in the air as well. It's quite exciting. I think we're over the worst of winter. Not that we've actually really had a winter, but um, we are on the brink of of spring starting and we're on the brink of people actually starting to come over here on holiday and the, the island's just coming alive again which uh which i'm gonna be very grateful of actually because it's just a little bit quiet for me i have to be honest it's so just coming up past like coco bay this whole area around here look and it's it's all completely dead but we're going to keep, walk down towards the uh, renovations that I had a look at in my video we're going to see what's what's going on over there too but first we're going to go and have a look at the beach because it is pumping down here now I'm going to apologize if the, the the sound goes a bit on the mic but I just thought I'd bring you down the side of the beach I can see way off in the distance actually we've got a kite surfer out there today someone's crazy enough to be in the water and not only that guys look the empathia restaurant is also open too which uh, i wasn't expecting to see see the uh, kite surf you can see his kite way off in the distance and I actually think they've started clearing the beach they've started clearing the beach of um, seaweed it was very very seaweedy the last time I was down here it was completely banked up as well so it's looking to me that they really are starting to get the resort ready now for, for the spring. And what a shame we haven't got the, the amazing sunshine that we've had over the past couple of days too. Mikey, do they sell pot noodles in Santa Ponza? I bet they do. I'm pretty sure they do actually. The bounty bound to be able to get them in little supermarkets. Glyn, good afternoon. How are you doing? <laughs> Luckily I'm not holding any tea this afternoon, Glyn. Um, Diane, hello. How are you doing? Lovely to have you here. Mikey, <laughs> does the mango shop sell mangoes? Um, <laughs> No, sells clothes, that's hilarious. Let me just pull the camera back here. I mean, even with all this wind that we've got here today, it's actually really gorgeous down here. Nothing beats a walk by the sea. And uh, after all the food I've had this afternoon as well, I'm really grateful of the walk, actually. And I see someone with the name Yuppie Trash Mike. Hello from a cold and dark Sweden. With a name like that. My goodness me, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. <laughs> Karen, you're asking me if I've done any videos from Ilietes. I've featured Ilietes in, in quite a few videos. Have a look at my, my top 10 beaches um, in Mallorca video because they're right, the beaches up in Ilietes are right at the start of that particular video. Um, I haven't done a resor resort review of Ilietes just yet, but I will do. I'll definitely do one. I may even do a live stream around there, but I have to test it first because it's quite covey around there and I can imagine the signal is going to drop, particularly around Cala Contessa and down on Ilietes Beach. But we'll, I'll definitely go and check it out. Right, let's head along the front here. Let's see what else is open. over here in Santa Ponza today. Now, are we starting to see a little bit of difference along the beachfront here to the, to the units that we saw in my video as well from a few weeks ago? 
all the renovations that have been da done down here, they've completely cleared out the businesses. Um, have they done much more? It's kind of hard to say really. The fact they've got some shutters down on some of the units may suggest that they have started doing up the insides, but um, are we going to see the same businesses back here this summer? I don't know. Honestly, don't know. They've still got a lot to do over here though. Caroline, good afternoon. You're all booked up for Alcudia in May. And the prices are the same as what you paid last year. Well, that's, that's the first time I've heard someone say that actually. So that is good news. Um, let everyone know who you booked with as well, because any, any booking tips for good value holidays, let us all know about it. I've seen some really shocking prices actually for Mallorca holidays for this year. So fingers crossed, there are still some good deals to be had. Paul, you're going to be here in July. Gloria, hello. Lovely to have you here. Thank you for all your lovely comments on my videos as well recently. Andrew, hello. You're all booked. You and Trudy are all booked up for Playa de Muro in, in July, even though the prices have gone up. Do you know what? You'll still have an amazing time. It'll be, it'll be well worth it. A holiday, in my opinion, it's an investment. So... I think you're still going to have a really good time. Jamie, you're saying the signal is poor. Everyone, let me know what the signal is like today. I really hope it's not that bad. Susan, interesting question. You're asking me if... Uh, with the price increase to the hotels in Mallorca, will people still come here? Do you know, I think I think people will. I think people, a lot of people who've come here for years and years will still come out here, but a lot of people will go to other destinations, I think. And I know I've got some um, subscribers on my channel who said that they're not coming back <laughs> because of the price rises, and others who have said as well that they are coming back uh, whatever the price rise. So I think it's gonna be a real mixed bunch, actually. Just coming up past the Casa del Mar H10. I saw some people working in that actually um, a few weeks ago. Jamie, it must be the wind. As long as the picture's clear, I, I hope. Um, I hope the picture's clear at least. I'm just hoping the sound is all right too. Dave, you say you haven't seen much renovation in Alcudia this winter. Um, I haven't actually been up there. I was supposed to go this week um, and for various reasons I couldn't. I did have some work on this week so I had to take the money on that one I'm afraid and I couldn't get up Alcudia away but um, I will be up there very very soon. Just coming up past uh, an absolutely gorgeous little beach bar here. Oh no, Louise, you're saying that the mic is crackly. No way, oh my goodness, the wind. Is it continually crackly? That is, that is the question. I'm gonna give another mic a go actually, a different mic next, um, next time I live stream. I hate a technical issue, whatever it may be on the... Uh... The wind noise, but apart from that, it's perfect. Yeah, Glyn, it's absolutely blowing a gale down here. Right, we are coming up um, around the back of the um, way that Isabella. Oh, do you know what? They've made some progress. I can see they've got glass, glass in the glass in the rooms now. It's looking a little bit less... Uh, it's looking a little bit more completed than it was before. Let's have a look. Let's go and have a quick, quick look down the side. We will head on the, down to the beach in a bit. There's a little restaurant down here, a little Mallorquin place. And I remember when I came down to make my video, um, it was absolutely rammed full of workers. 
John and Marie, oh my goodness, thank you so much for your super chat. Bless you guys. Thank you so much, much appreciated. Let me just let these cars go. Um, and also, Roman, thank you very much for your super chat as well from Denmark. I really appreciate that too. Thanks, thank you so much to all of you. Now, it's this, it's this little cafe here. Sometimes um, if you wonder where the locals eat, it's these little side street uh, cafes and when I was down here during the day a few weeks ago making the video this place was absolutely rammed so it'll be interesting to know what the food is like um, but the whaler Isabella let's just come around the side have a quick look because when I was down here it was such a building site it was absolutely nowhere near looking like it'll be ready for the beginning of the season Let's go and have a quick look. Well, look, they're building an entire block over here. Look, I mean, that is brand new. That's not even something that they're, that wasn't even an existing building that they're re kitting out. I mean, it's completely. How many weeks ago was I down here? Was it two or three weeks? Um, I don't know. You decide. Have they done much more to it? I don't think they have. I'm sure they're working very hard on it, though. And you can see that we're right next to the um, Globales Santa Ponta Park Hotel, which is just right in front of me too. If you're just wanting a very quick location check, look how close you are to the centre of Santa Ponta and the beach. Yeah, this little place here, it's Nep... Nep... Uh, Nepenta restaurant, it is very much open. <laughs> now we can see down here in Santa Ponza, this park that lies right behind the beach is full of pine trees. Um, I'm a little bit reluctant to walk underneath them actually because the poisonous caterpillars are out in force at the moment and uh, where we went for the, bapti the christening, the baptism this morning, um, there's just a few pine trees in the churchyard and they were full and they're just literally caterpillars everywhere so I'm a little bit reluctant to go walking right in front of uh, underneath all those trees. If you're coming out for an, for an early holiday, those caterpillars are going to be lurking around for quite a while, so um, just be careful of them. Now, if you are coming out as well, look, we've got the main road that comes into Santa Ponza, just down by the... Um, by the Santa Ponza... is this the Plava? the Plaza Hotel. Along that main road you've got plenty more restaurants as well and it's because it's quite a commercial area you're going to find quite a few of those open too. John, I've just seen a news flash coming up on my, my screen here. Ireland 29, Italy nil. Is that football? <laughs> so that would have been um, a hilarious game to watch but anyway Oh, Keith, oh, I'm absolutely gutted about the sound. Guys, huge apologies um, for the sound today. <laughs> Susan, you, want, you still come twice a year and you found an apartment for September in town, a 15 minute drive from the coast with a small pool on the roof for 70 euros per night. Wow, compared to the 140 you normally pay. My goodness me, that is, uh, that's amazing. Oh, Stephen, you've said it's been crackling from the start. Oh gosh, I am literally gutted.
I see a few fancy dress people, a few people dressed up in fancy dress today. It's carnival today over in Palma. Um, I ha obviously haven't gone to it, can't go to everything. At the moment we had the Chinese New Year celebrations this morning over in, in Palma as well. I couldn't get to that either. There's still plenty going on the island. And I think the next big event here that we have here is going to be St Patrick's Day too. Is that Joe? You're saying me and my dad Tony are watching. Hi Tony, how are you doing? Are you off to Mallorca in April? Are you hoping the weather will be nice? I'm sure it will be. Right, we can really hear the winds picking up. Let me just try and get... I'm trying to get somewhere that's a bit sheltered. Right, hopefully... Right, it's slightly more sheltered here. I'm sorry about all the noise. Guys, oh my goodness. <laughs> Glinda, we've got some buffering as well. I can't believe it. Elvan, greetings from Stockholm. The sound is not great. Oh my goodness. It is super it is super windy today. And yep, it was the it was the rugby. I mean, that would have been a crazy football game to have had that kind of um, score. As you can see, look, we've got the uh, we've got the kite surfer here. Out in the water. Guys, I'm going to knock the live stream on the head. I can't bear to think that the, um, the, the sound is really bad today. I'm so sorry. I can't believe it. Um, I don't know why. I'm going to give another mic a go, I think, uh, for my next live stream. Um, or throw this one away. I don't know why it's been so crackly. But anyway, um, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I've now got my back to the wind, so you can... Uh, <laughs> So you can probably just about hear me. Um, the wind is just picking up and coming literally right across the bay over to Palmer here. So it's a bit of crazy weather, which I think is going to calm down by tomorrow, thank goodness. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around. Um, I'm hoping you're going to be able to hear me. Thank you so much for all the super chats today. I really appreciate it. And the next time I come down to Santa Ponza, it's going to be calmer weather. It's going to be sunny as well i'm going to guarantee sunshine for my next santa ponza live stream because i've been unable to deliver that for um for the best part of about nine months i think so next time we come back here to do a live it's gonna be a lot different and um, i think it was one of the only places i could have come to today with the current weather i've just been following the wind direction all day <laughs> Guys, have an amazing Sunday from wherever you are watching in the world. And I'll leave you with these few views here of a kite surfer over here on Santa Ponza Beach, which you will absolutely not find as you move into the summer here. He's just coming out of the water. Look, check that out, look. If you are a keen kite surfer, don't come to Santa Ponza kite surfing unless you're visiting today because it's not normally like this down here. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I shall see you very soon on the next video. Goodbye for now.